It's awesome. Uh, again, you heard it first right here on Laguna's Only FM. Listener supported KX93.5. That was track four off the record, Return to Spirit. And uh, that's the second release, actually, by Anthony Teresa. Now, uh, the song we just played was Highway 111. And Anthony is sitting across from me in our Pearl Street Studios uh, yeah. right now. What's up, man? How you doing, Mark? I'm doing so good. I, I think uh, for these circumstances, it's Mookie. Got to hey, call me Mookie on the radio. Mookie, man, it's Mookie. Even though we've been interacting all week on the emails and everything like that, and it's like, hey, I'm Mark. Um, no, hey. but Anthony, thanks so much for taking the time. Uh, we dig on what you do as Thank far you, as, uh, you know, musically and uh, your, your fusion style we're all about. And we just wanted to basically know more about you, dude. Um, so thanks, yeah. thanks for being here. Uh, where, where's home now? Home is in uh, Lagoon Niguel. Cool, man. Mookie. But yeah, man. Originally, originally, you are uh, not from Southern California, right? Originally, I'm from New Jersey. Okay. Yeah. And That's what right. brought you out here in the first place? Popcorn. But well, there no, were I'm stops on the way, right? Before you made it out to SoCal, right? Uh, no, I, I journeyed straight from okay. the East Coast to uh, California back in 1979. September 11th, to be exact. Oh, no way. And yeah. uh, by 1979, I mean, you already had been doing your, your music thing, right? Been doing uh, my music since, well, started playing guitar in 1963, and folks. And who, who turned you on to guitar in the first place? <laughs> my dad was a professional singer, and my grandfather was a concert violinist. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there was music in my house, and of course, you know, Beatles, um, Elvis Presley as a kid. You know, my first guitar, by the way, was a broom. Of course, <laughs> naturally, naturally it was. Uh, that's cool that you come from a, a music-related family. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so you were exposed to that stuff, you know, at an early age. So you were listening to all of that, really, uh, that's quite a mix. Um, everything. Eva, uh, my dad was, you know, listening to jazz music, um, everything, you know, Frank Sinatra, um, big band stuff as a kid. Right. Um, but, you know. We wanted to be a rocker, man. That, that was it. Right, and, and you are a rocker, and I guess uh, your reputation precedes you. Uh, you've been on a, a lot of recordings, and uh, you've collaborated uh, with a lot of professional musicians. You're still doing it to this day, man. Actually, there's another record in the works right now, yeah. and uh, pretty soon this afternoon we're going to debut. Oh, cool, Basically, man. right? Nobody's really ever heard that stuff, right? The, no, the, the new stuff. No, the uh, Confunction is, uh, the, yeah. will be the uh, first song on the third CD. Nice. Uh, yeah, so your first release as, you know, a solo artist, Anthony Teresa, right. uh, came out back in uh, 2003. Right, yeah. Right? When, I, when I was living um, outside of Nashville, uh -huh. I, I started to uh, record and write some more, and that's where I cut that CD in Franklin, Tennessee. Franklin was the... Uh, <laughs> how'd you end up in Nashville or in Tennessee in the first place? Was that to, to foster your music? That was my last... You hear about Nashville now and how it's a thriving, you know, music community. You know, when, upon arrival, uh, when you got there, was it the same thing? Same thing, yeah. same day, yeah. yeah. I, I, I ended up moving out there because that was the last um, music stop that I wanted to check out and, you know, work on Music Row and write with other songwriters. Music Row, what is, what is Music Row? Music Row is a street of old houses yeah it's probably i don't know maybe a quarter mile long on both sides of the street where they're set up as uh, recording studios publishing companies record labels uh you know song smithing every, it's just unbelievable so if you're yeah. trying to break into the industry or whatever or want to be known that's right a, that's the place to be huh in tennessee that was the place to be i spent uh, about four years there i had some really great friends there i got to write with uh Hit songwriter uh, Rand Bishop. There's a song on my CD called Pacific Sunset, and I, you know, I have some great friends there. Mm. Uh, would you say your style? What, how, how, if someone asks you what type of music you're into or what type of music you're putting out right now uh, and performing, well, you're performing. Uh, you, there are some projects in the uh, world. Yeah, we'll talk about that pretty yeah. soon. But uh, what would you say your music style is? Would you uh, say it's jazz fusion? I would say that it, you know, it's it's like jazz fusion rock, and you know, I I, I listened to Steely Dan as a as a you know a, a young teenager. I'd got, I pretty much wanted to uh, expand my my chord voicings and my style of writing, and I'd say it's somewhere like you know Steely Danish kind of thing. It's like rock, jazz, funk. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, that makes sense to me. Uh, so I got two records in my hand right now. One was the first release, Higher Ground, came out in 2003. Right. Uh, the, ne the next release from you officially was uh, Return to Spirit. Yeah. And it looks like that came out in 2008. I want to play something off the first record, if okay. you don't mind. Yeah, man. And then you brought your guitar. You're going to perform for us soon. I'll do a tune, yeah. Very cool. <laughs> All right, so if you don't mind, I I'd like to play the title track from that first record. It's been out for uh, 
a little while now. It's okay. called Higher Ground. Do you okay. mind? Is there a story yeah. behind this as well? And who else is playing on this record, and how many instruments do you actually play on this record? Uh, on, on that CD there, I played guitar, bass, and did all, obviously all the vocals. And then my friend Ross Krutzinger played bass on um, Lion's Heart and Sage. Okay. And I've had, on that CD, I've had three drummers on that CD. Um, Tom Grignon, uh, Joe Smith, and um, Tom Grignon, Joe Smith. I believe there's two on that first CD. Okay, right on. Well, without further ado, and then uh, more with uh, Anthony Teresa in studio in uh, just a couple minutes from now, here is Higher Ground original music on KX93.5. much about music I, I call it a jazz fusion I, I i call it a rock fusion uh, the song was called higher ground that is anthony Teresa original music came out back in uh 2003 how would you say the uh wh what was the difference between that first record uh to the second record or any real difference at all as far as the uh songs yeah the di uh, i would say that the difference is on the first record i have about i have about three or four different styles on there um, there, there's, a, there's a couple country songs on there. There's uh, some, some rock fusion things, and then there's a ballad. The, the second CD, I, I, I see the songs as all being more, um, you know, in the same kind of uh, genre. Um, fair enough. Uh, again, Anthony Teresa in yeah. studio on listener-supported KX93.5. You said upon arriving or after leaving Nashville uh, when you came here to uh, California... Uh, you've worked with uh, just about 50 bands or more. Is that right? 
Yeah, I hate to say it, but it's true. Right, and uh, 50 bands. That's unreal. And we actually have a, a mutual friend in Alan Deramo. Deramo. Uh, yeah, right. who actually has a show on the airwaves here. He calls his show, uh, what is it? It's called Lost and Found, and he is all over the map. Uh, musically as far as what he plays on his radio show but he's a very talented bass player yeah man and you said you get together with some pro musicians from time to time uh, yeah for what you called a a pro jam session yeah that's where i met where and when do these things happen the i'd uh, like to be a fly on the wall when these (laughs) things happen frankly the uh the pro jam happens at uh the the first sunday of every month with uh greg vale pro jam and uh it's it's called um big shots it's in el toro or lake forest Okay, very cool, man. Yeah. And is that something the general public could just arrive to, or no? This is uh, you got to be a professional musician. Well, that's pretty much what you know. Uh, you know, is is basically happening on that stage is pro players getting up there and Amazing. tossing tossing around you know a couple hundred songs. Right. Um, so uh, actively, I mean, you are you are writing and recording a brand new record, tentatively scheduled to come out. We have no idea quite yet. Uh, but what what other things are you doing right now to keep yourself busy musically? Um, I'm playing. I'm doing uh, my original band. I just played at the Nam Show this year, um, which is called uh, something about the Espressos. Oh yeah, Anthony Teresa and Triple Espresso. Triple band. Espresso. Yeah, I man. love it. <laughs> you got to have three three Espressos to be in the band. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Uh, so that's going on right now. And I got to ask you before. I mean, I have you in the studio right now. Yeah, man. Are you doing a, uh, a Bruce Springsteen tribute as well? I've, I've been doing the Bruce Springsteen tribute band since I moved back uh, from the Nashville area. I, I, I met my friend Josh, and he asked me if I was interested. And I said, yeah, I don't know any Bruce Springsteen songs. So, you know, about a year later, we were doing uh, major tours and concerts. We went to uh, we went to Japan. We played in uh, Chicago. We played in Nevada. It's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. Uh, what a blessing it is to be able to work on your craft, right? Oh, definitely. Without a care in the world, uh, Anthony <laughs> Teresa in studio. Uh, got a couple releases available right now. Dude, we dig on your stuff. Uh, we are listener-supported KX93.5 uh, here in Laguna Beach. Could be a member of this radio station. Uh, and your membership certainly helps, and uh, it really does go a long way. I think $50 uh, might be the cheapest membership. You get a T-shirt, a bunch of perks of being a member of the radio station. Go to KX935.com. Uh, all the information is there. So you did bring me, uh, whether or not it's totally mastered or not. Uh, it's I do mastered. Have a, it is. I yeah. do have a brand new song, and uh, I, I want to play that on the air, if you don't mind. Now, yeah, what man, is this I, called again? It, it, because I already threw it in there. Yeah, man. It's called it's called Confunction. Um, right. I played um, guitars and uh, bass on it. Greg Vale played sax. My friend, good longtime friend Ron Robertson played drums, and uh, Paul Navidad played keyboards on it. Cool. Well, let's hear it right now. KX 93.5 original music from Anthony Teresa. And you heard it first right here coming out of Laguna Beach. Doesn't work, does it? See here, the pro- <laughs> uh, it's the perils of being a, an independent radio station, a bright, shiny new toy here in Southern California. I would say talk amongst yourselves while our CD player doesn't work. <laughs> right. Come on. CD. Have you have you ever had an interview, Anthony? That was uh, this uh, college radio like. Oh, oh, I'm just yeah, kidding, bro. You're I'm, funny, I'm man. Now, this, is, this is great down here in Laguna Beach. Know, everything from our studio space to, I was going to say, the studio equipment, but my CD player didn't work that time. Let's rip into, again, into it again. Original music from Anthony Teresa right here on KX93.5. <laughs>
KX93.5 original music there from Anthony Teresa. And I for, forgot what it was called again already, brother. I apologize. It's called Confunction. Confunction. It is not available to the general public quite yet, but you heard it first coming out of your speakers, uh, coming out of Laguna Beach, uh, California. Uh, you don't exactly call yourself a jazz fusion artist because you... You know, you have a tendency to do the rock and roll thing. I mean, you're not all jazz instrumental. Right. Uh, you definitely have been singing for quite some time. Uh, but as far as the jazz fusion type of stuff goes, uh, there really is no platform anymore for artists who are doing Correct. that genre of music, right? I, I agree. Right. Yeah. Uh, there used to be, I believe, radio stations who, who would play that type of stuff. And, uh, you know, f for lack of a better way of saying it, you know, Kenny G kind of messed it all up for everybody, frankly. Uh, some of those jazz fusion artists, they are definitely, like I said before, off the air on another plane That's musically. Right. Uh, I could certainly appreciate it. Um, but, you know, again, there's not really a platform uh, for people to do that right now. So I imagine you've, you know, you've shopped your record to various outlets. And how well has it been received? It's been received uh, really well. I've been selling my CDs on um uh, CD Baby and um, iTunes. Oh, yeah, uh, your internet presence. Where can people find uh, Anthony Teresa stuff? I mean, do people still say www? Okay, it's, it's Anthony. I don't think so. <laughs> it's anthonytereza.com. You can get my music through straight through me, or you can go on CD Baby or through iTunes. Right on. Uh, well, we're, we're on board as far as what you're doing musically. We do have some more questions, uh, yeah. but I tell you what, man, you did bring that beautiful guitar. What kind of guitar are you working with today? I am working with one of my favorite guitars. <laughs> it's, a, it's called a Parkwood, and I've had it for about seven years. Nice. And I, I love the guitar. It's, it's, it plays like a jazz guitar, and it's an acoustic guitar, so I'm, I'm really liking it. All right, man. so here's what we had in mind. Uh, you're going to play a song, um, a song in the studio, totally stripped down. Way stripped uh, down. Way stripped down, totally acoustic. And then we're going to hear the produced version uh, from the record like yeah. right after that. So what song did you want to play yeah, first it, for us, man? It would be uh, Pacific Sunset, uh, co-write with uh, Rand Bishop, hit songwriter outside of Nashville. Hey, Rand, if you hear this. Cool, brother. I hope you told your friends that you'd be on the radio I today. It's, it's all over Facebook. And, uh, that's awesome. <laughs> and thanks for supporting our little uh, operation here. Thank you, Mookie. Man. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are playing the hip stuff. We are. Yeah, <laughs> I, I say uh, to a lot of people, I think we're very irrelevant as far as what we do for new music and uh, what we try to do for artists. So, so far, so good with this little uh, nonprofit radio station, KX93.5. So, uh, you know, without further ado, uh, this is Pacific Sunset live in studio from Anthony Teresa, and whenever you're ready, man. All right, here we go, man. Uh, hey, what's the hurry? We're always on the run. And tell me what could be worth rushing to. Here we're all together, and that's more than enough. And now there's a miracle in view Yeah Magic in the Pacific sunset Magic, baby, this is as good as it gets I know it happens every single day So why should we stop and check it out? Each time that fireball sinks into the wave it paints a picture of what life is all about I saw you almost smile Come on, let's call it up for a while And just be in the pier And now the yeah. Magic in the Pacific sunset Magic, baby, this is as good as it gets Magic in the Pacific sunset Magic Baby, this is as good as it gets That's so much better, now don't you agree? Me holding you, you holding me like this That's our horizon, just as far as we can see and Nothing's stopping us from following our bliss Yeah, into the mystic, in the blue And gone in a blink 
of an eye And we both know it's true We need a lift, it's overdue Some time to breathe, it's just some precious time Yeah, magic in the Pacific sunset Magic, baby, this is as good as it gets Magic in the Pacific sunset Magic, baby, this is as good as it gets All right, uh, Anthony Therese alive in studio, KX 93.5, yeah, yeah. Laguna's only FM. That was Pacific Sunset done brilliantly right in front of my eyeballs uh, at our Pearl Street Studios. Now, if you'd like, I'd actually like to play the produced version of that particular song. It is Pacific Sunset, and then more with Anthony Teresa uh, in studio on KX 93.5. The song's called Pacific Sunset, and we dig on uh, that guy's rock and roll slash jazz fusion style 
or it could be jazz fusion. I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I like so, that. Probably. Yes, man. Yes, uh, and playing in a yes band. Uh, Anthony Teresa, that was a great song uh, from you, and you're in studio right now. Again, thanks for taking the time. Uh, we just talked off the air. You don't have a traditional day job. Other things to occupy your time uh, right now. What else are you doing? You're doing the recording studio thing, yeah, right? Yeah, I've been a, a recording engineer for about 25 years. I have a, a recording studio called Blue Night Studio, and I produce um, other singer-songwriters and uh, full bands. I've, I've cut jazz bands, you know, R&B bands, rock bands, and I've, cool. I've been self-produced. So that's, that's another thing that you've been doing. You will open up your studio doors to other, other artists who want to record. Cord, huh? Correct. Yeah. Very cool, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Anytime. Um, same. You can still get me at uh, anthonytereza.com. Awesome. Well, I tell you what, is there anything else you wanted to say to the general public who might not be familiar with your music thus far, Anthony? Uh, hey, you can buy my CDs at, uh, on CD Baby. Sure. <laughs> and I'd like to thank all the musicians that have uh, played on you know, both of my CDs and the uh, Confunction. There's a, there's a lot of cats, you know, Ron Robertson, uh, Greg Vale. Um, the, the list goes on, man. It's just, you know, Chris Daniels played keyboards on Highway 111, Paul Navidad, uh, Joe Smith from Nashville, Tom Grignon. Um, the list is big. A cast of thousands. Cast of thousands. Exactly. Uh, well, again, thanks for everything that you do. Uh, it's kind of a breath of fresh air, frankly, for me in the studio. We stick to our, you know, alternative playlist all right. the time. That uh, to hear some music uh, coming out of the uh, speakers that sounds like this uh, is very refreshing. So, Anthony Teresa. Thank you, Mookie uh, man. Thank, thanks we'll, for having we'll me. We'll have bro. you in soon. And, uh, soon, and then uh, if there's anything you ever want to help promote or get the word out for, that's I will uh, help. That's, yeah, that's why we're here. Uh, you know. <laughs> or new music. KX 93.5. That's, that's Support. right, my friend. Uh, we are member supported right here in Laguna Beach. Uh, again, Anthony, thank you. This is The Heavy with Curse Me Good. More from our Pearl Street Studios in just a couple minutes. You got.